The recent death of one of its members has not prevented the international solidarity movement from continuing its activities in Gaza. Those include helping Palestinian farmers reach their crops meters away from the Israeli border and the machine guns that guard it. Silvia from Italy explains that she serves as a human shield for the locals, while her American colleague documents it all. Well, the day's mission is to deter Israeli aggression during the wheat harvest here. Um, we hope that our presence as internationals will prevent the kind of attacks we've seen previously. But moments later, as we're getting ready to interview one of the locals, shots ring out. Members of the international solidarity movement are the only ones who do this in Gaza. The group decides that it's time to go after having collected a bag full of fodder. Westerners seldom come to these remote parts of the Strip. These activists say it's part of their philosophy, guiding principles which have cost them dearly at times. We are with the Palestinians, and the Palestinian takes risks every day. Like uh, Lashel Kori was killed while well, she was trying to protect a Palestinian house. And this was the house where Palestinians were living. And uh, Tom Handras was killed because uh, he was carrying uh, some child out of another house. The ISM also monitors fishing off the coast of Gaza under the Israeli blockade, which begins three nautical miles away from the shore. They climb into this boat and head out to witness and film events at sea. That was the cannon, wasn't it? While Israeli authorities accuse the international solidarity movement of being a violent entity which does nothing to encourage peace, its members say their aim is to support and strengthen the Palestinian popular resistance.